orienter, bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, it's a joy to come into your homes as we continue this a joyous Christmas season. The Magi have arrived. Today we celebrate the great feast of Epiphany, the manifestation of the Lord. And so just as the Magi brought gifts to the manger in Bethlehem, so let us bring the very best gift of ourselves to this celebration of the Eucharist, knowing the reconciliation and the peace of the Lord as we commence this new year. Lord, the Magi presented the gift of gold, the identity of your royalty, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, the Magi present a gift of incense, a sign of worship and prayer. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, the Magi presented the gift of myrrh, prefiguring your death upon a cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and lead all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory. Glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O 
O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment Lord every nation on earth will Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity, pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east appeared in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw its star as his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go, and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. They opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A new year has dawned. Anyone unhappy to say goodbye to 2020? And so 2020 has retired, and with open arms we welcome 2021, Anno Domini, in the year of our Lord. So happy new year, and happy epiphany. Our Christmas journey continues with this celebration of epiphany. It's a beautiful story about a star luminous with light and hope. Story of three wise men, the Magi, and their great adventure. And so the Magi adds a wonderful diversity of costumes 
and they complete your nativity scene at home and they complete our nativity scene here at St. Joseph's. And more than just wooden or porcelain figurines, what inspires us? What can we take from this epiphany scene in the Magi? The word epiphany means revelation, manifestation. And in our Christian context, epiphany means the manifestation of Jesus Christ to the world. A prophecy that we first heard in our reading today from the prophet Isaiah. Ever since the dawning of creation, humanity has been fascinated with the heavens, especially the night sky. Recall that Father Abraham saw the promise of untold generations in the stars. And long before GPS and Google Maps, people would travel by orienting themselves by the Big Dipper and the North Star. The constellations also reminded a very agrarian people about the changing seasons. When the constellation Orion appeared overhead, then they knew winter was on its way. And when the summer triangle appeared in the sky, they knew that summer was arriving. And in the first century, people would gaze up into the heavens in order to make sense of life here on earth. Our ancestors spent a lot of time gazing up the beauty of the heavens and the night sky. They spent so much more time doing that than we do. We live in light, polluted cities. Maybe this year we spend a little more time gazing up into the night sky to see what our ancestors saw and learned. When the Magi saw the luminous star, they knew that a great event happened on earth. And so the three set out in their caravan and they traveled hundreds of miles following a star that cast some light over Jerusalem, but even shone more brightly over the suburb of Bethlehem. The Magi were pagans. They were non-Jews. They were unfamiliar with the ways of the God of Israel. But they were on a search they were looking for meaning in their lives. And when they entered the manger scene, they encountered the Christ child. And they received the gift of Christ into their lives. And in response to receiving Christ, they adored him and they presented three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I think the, the challenge for us at the beginning of this new year, the invitation for us, is to see that these gifts don't just remain as wooden or porcelain attachments to the figurines of the Magi, but they are gifts that we are invited to offer to Christ. Because like the Magi, we have all received the gift of Christ into our lives this Christmas. He has been born anew in your life, in your heart, in your family, and in your home. And so the gifts of the Magi really are a gospel, a teaching, a way of life unto themselves. So let's examine those three gifts. 
The gift of gold symbolized that Christ was royalty, a king. He would be a great leader of the highest honor. Next week, we will be ending the Christmas season with the celebration of the baptism of the Lord. Jesus grows up so quickly in the church. And we will recall that at your baptism, you were anointed priest, prophet, and king in the line of Christ. And so in this new year, renew your kingship in Christ. Surrender your life to him. Are you willing to be a leader for Christ? Are you willing to be a Catholic leader, a person of honor who makes good things happen? Let's make good things happen in 2021. The gift of frankincense was a fragrant resin burned in the temple as an offering with reference to the psalmist's words, quote, Lord, let our prayer rise like incense before you, end quote. God is always worthy of our worship and our prayer and praise. And for you, my friends, staying at home all of these months, I know it can be easy to get tired of a YouTube mass or just skip a Sunday. But you know, your worship, your prayer, your attention and participation to this time matters to God, it matters to your family, it matters to all of us and to me here at St. Joseph. So be steadfast in your commitment to worship and prayer and this Sunday celebration because your prayers are making a difference to your family and to the St. Joe's family. The gift of myrrh was an expensive plant extract and it's used for embalming the deceased bodies, prefiguring Christ's death, death on a cross. Three days ago, I celebrated the fourth anniversary of my arrival at St. Joseph's. The past four years have just flown. And the week before I came here, it was Christmas, and a friend of mine, a priest friend, gave me a rather unique gift. It was a small bottle of embalming fluid. Now, I thought it was a joke, or maybe he knew something I didn't. But attached to the bottle was this note. As you journey to Long Beach, Die to yourself so you can serve the people of St. Joseph's in love. So, when you have a hard time buying that gift for someone who has everything, <laughs> you know now what to give them this coming year. But here's the point. All the little deaths, all the little losses or major losses this past year we're not in vain. But we move forward. And so the sacrifices, the little deaths that may be asked of us this year, the little surrenders to our family, to our church, to our world, all those little surrenders to God that are asked of us, when we do them faithfully and steadfastly, we honor Jesus Christ. Finally, in giving these gifts to others, the Magi's gifts that are our gifts, we offer them to God. 
And so in this year ahead, may we continue to give the gifts of the Magi. Happy New Year and happy Epiphany. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this Christmas scene inaugurated our discipleship in Christ through our baptism. And so let us again, this Christmas Sunday, renew our baptismal promises. Holy people of God, I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. Do you reject Satan and all of his empty works and empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in his son, Jesus, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died, rose from the dead, and ascended to the Father in heaven? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I, I do. do. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. Let's always be proud to profess this faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Rise up in splendor, people of St. Joseph's. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. In gratitude for all we've been given, let us offer our petitions to the Lord. For God's continued blessing in our lives, that he will fill our new year with health of body, mind, and spirit. Lead us into a deeper relationship with Christ and inspire us to live the gospel faithfully each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For all who feel lost and are searching for meaning in their lives, that God will lead them on the path to real peace and happiness in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all government leaders, that the spirit of wisdom will guide their actions and inspire them to work always for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer today's holy mass for the repose of the souls of Emma Kennedy, Mertris and Nicholas Damore, Hugo and John Jorda, Kelly Murchison, Mrs. Diaz, Philip Schember, Gianna York, for the attentions of Damien Macias, and for all St. Joseph parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those sick, especially those suffering with COVID-19, that they will receive the care they need to recover fully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, including June Froster and Jeanette Stasi, that they will know the joy of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, as we enter into this new year and a new journey of faith, strengthen us with the gifts of the Magi through which we honor you, Christ, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. 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 So my brothers and sisters, as we enter into this new year, I want to thank you very much for your uh, generosity the past year. And again, the, the basket is empty, but thank you so much for continuing to keep St. Joseph's alive in our ministries uh, during this time of the pandemic, uh, for mailing in your donation, for signing up for uh, Faith Direct through our website, or just going to Googling St. Joseph uh, Long Beach and going to our website and seeing the red donate button. So if it's been a while since you've made a donation, uh, thank you for your generosity, your steadfastness, and may the gifts of the Magi be yours. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have bread 
and wine to offer, which the earth has received and so many human hands have made, let these become our bread of life and our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. My brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice this holy day will be pleasing to the Lord God Almighty. May, May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty God. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, Jesus has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the kingdom of heaven. And so with angels and shepherds and saints and magi, together we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Lord, look upon this oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you wish to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. 
Joseph, her spouse, apostles, martyrs, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, especially as we welcome this new year. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, the deacons, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen to the prayers of this family, the prayers of the families gathered at home. You have summoned us before you, and in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, especially all those who have died this past year, all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And united with the church on this epiphany, together we pray. Our, Our Father. Father. Who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us us this this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from all evil. Grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, may we be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory glory are yours, yours, now now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on our faith, and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord's Christmas peace be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. This is Jesus, once born in Bethlehem, now among us as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not not worthy worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only only say say the word, word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, on this epiphany, uh, be strengthened by the holy word of God that has been proclaimed to us today. And we join you in spiritual communion as we offer this prayer. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters in faith, to all of our St. Joseph's parishioners, to our visitors who are joining us today, Uh, On behalf of our entire pastoral team, uh, our deacons and their wives, we extend to you and your loved ones uh, uh, just a prayer uh, for hope in this new year and that Christ will walk always in your life. And so thank you for praying with us today. Know that I'm praying for you every day and uh, continue to be safe and continue to be well. So have a blessed Epiphany week and I pray the Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go, use your gifts, and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be to to God. God. Go, tell it on the mountain, over the hills and every Jesus Christ is born while shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks at night behold throughout the heavens 
there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born.